Okay, let's start with a jog. Six, seven, and... So first time through, just make sure we take it nice and easy. Just start getting the heart rate going. Heels on the ground, knees bent. Onto star jumps we go. One. Knees over toes, heels on the ground. Don't have floppy hands, nice and strong fingers. And then we'll do jump rope, swing side to side. Imagine you've got a skipping rope in your hands, just swinging it. Toes facing forward, jumping over a little puddle. One, two, threes, we go. One, two, three, two, three. You're thinking of drawing the knee right up to your shoulder. Body forward, knee up. High knees. Make sure you're drawing that knee right up to a right angle. Bend the supporting leg as you land. Use the arms. Okay, let's take the energy up a notch. Star jumps up and down. Now nice, big wide legs. Hit the ceiling and pull with your arms. Nice and strong. Jump rope. Feet off the floor. Keep it going, keep those toes facing front. Heels on the ground. One, two, threes. Get that body right forward, knee up to the shoulder. Now travel them out to the side. Move across the floor. And high knees. Nice and strong, get them right up. Bend the supporting leg as you land. Okay, now everything through as fast as you can. Let's run. One. Quick feet. It's all about speed now. Keep it going. And star jumps. Try and fit them in as many as you can. See how many you can get in. But keep the form nice and strong. And jump rope. Go. Side to side. Keep it going, keep it going. And one, two, threes. Here we go. Up, 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 up. That's it. Good. Keep it going. Keep it going. And slow it down to a jog. Good. Feet apart. Deep breath in. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. And again. In through the nose. And out. Two more. And out. Last one. And out. Lovely. A big high release. And relax over the legs. And then unfold, slowly coming up through the spine. Everything up, head the last thing. And again, deep breath in. And all the way down. Straightening the legs. And then unfold all the way up. Lovely. Let's just take a nice big plie. Just get those legs nice and warm. Seat yourself down there. Turn the feet out, thinking of pulling the bum underneath, and then one shoulder forward, and onto the other side. Good, then let's take the feet parallel, hands to the floor, straightening up those legs, relax the head, shake out the neck, and then bring the weight forward onto the balls of the feet, that's it. Then hold onto the elbows, and let's take a nice swing. Lovely. Keeping that weight forward, nice and relaxed, letting the spine be long. And then let's slowly slow down by its nature, back to the center. Let that spine feel long, head feel heavy, and then unfold in your own time. Take a nice slow unfold all the way back up. 
Good, lovely. Feet parallel, check in with yourself. We're gonna take the head, we'll take the head down. Center, to the side. Center to the ceiling, lift to the side, side. And again, down, center, side, center, lift, center, and side. Big head circle, nice and heavy around all the way. Feel free to let the shoulders go naturally with it. Just use this as a good warm up rather than isolation work. And the other way, all the way around. And again. Good, lovely. Let's take shoulders back. Shoulders back for eight. One, two, three. Lovely. Forwards for eight. Same thing. Oh. Then one shoulder back, pull it back. Right, left, three, four, six, forward for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, again, same thing, pull it back, 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 right, back, six, forward, push one, two, three, four, one arm for four, we go, a one, a two, a three, and four, other side, for one. On the fourth one, make sure you really push it back, one, two, Three, push and squeeze on side. And one, two, three. Good. Now let's reach across. Twist. Two. Imagine you're slicing through water nice and long. Now, same thing, but go further. Reach it and touch and squeeze. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Arms up to second form. We check in feet parallel, hands facing the floor. We're going to reach for four to each side. Reach for one, two, three. Four, side stretch, one, two, three, to the center, five, arms fold, four, seven, other side, we go, two, three, four, side, one, two, three, four, center, one, two, and unfold, one more time, just go further this time, one, reach, two, that's it, three, reach, four, huge side stretch, three, four, center, and unfold, last time, two, left, Two, that's it, really reach, lovely. Five, six, seven, side stretch, up and over. Three, four, center and unfold, lovely. Let's face the side, ready for a side stretch exercise, a forward stretch exercise. We're gonna roll down through our spine for eight, all the way down, all the way back up. Then we'll lift the arms up, one, two, we'll plie three, extend up on four, into a flat back, take the arms out to second, seven, eight. Whilst we're here in this position, just making sure that your arms are within your eye line, your head's in line, and your weight's on the balls of your feet rather than pushing too far back. From here, you're then gonna contract from your belly button to spine. Contract, and then release it out. Lovely, and again, contract, and release. Two more times, contract, and release. Just working this section of the back, contract, and release, lovely. Then hands above the head, lengthening out, extending here, down to the floor, relaxing down all the way, and then unfold up through the spine, back to the top. We'll do that a couple of times through. Okay, here we go. Seven, rear folding down four. One, two, three, four, five, six, plie, and unfold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, plie, lift the arms. One, two, plie, three, extend four, flat back, five, Arms out, contract, lift, and extend. Again, contract, lift, making sure that weight's right on the balls of those feet. Contract, one more, contract, and release. Hands above the head, extend and lengthen that spine. Release down, lovely, and unfold. Good, one more time, breathing in, lift, plie. Arms up, contract, lift, and release. Good, make sure you can still see those hands out of the corner of your eyes, head in line. One more contraction, contract, and release. Hands above the head, extend the length from that spine, and release down. Unfold, eight, seven, six, five, four, eight, two, one. Lovely, let's face the front. Just work on the rib cage isolation. Don't worry about these being too precise. This is just to warm up the body. We're gonna take it forward, side, back, side again, forward, side, 
Back other way. Forward, lift it up and over, out of those hips. Forward, side, back. Let's roll around to the right. Roll. And two. Again, three double up. Other way, we go around. That's it, good. Two. And again, three double up. Let's plie, use the hips. Squeeze forward, side, back and side. Really squeeze this motion. Other way, we go forward, side, back, side, forward, side. Hips roll to the right, around. Just those hips, don't let the ribs go. Now double up this side, around. Other way, good, oh one. And a two, and a three, double up. Let's do a figure of eight. One, two, three, four, five. Just get those hips moving, get them working. Lovely, very nice, cool. Let's take the hands out for a second. For here, we're gonna take a side stretch, then we'll take it into a flat back on the diagonal, then we'll take it down to the toe. From here, you're gonna bend the opposite knee away and stretch away from the leg. Hold that position, then into the center. Whilst we're in the center, hold on to your ankles. If you look at Molly here, she's gonna plie and pop her head through her legs as she's plieing. Then as she's stretching, straightening behind the back of the knees, weight onto the balls of the feet, and then she'll plie again, plie, and then try and tip her head through those legs even further, lovely. Then slowly unfold up through the spine. Gorgeous, lovely. Onto the other side, thanks Molly. Here we go, let's have a go at that one. Hands outside, let's go to the right first. We're gonna go, one. Nice and long, keep breathing whilst we're here in this stretch. And then let's take a flat back and extend and lengthen. Lovely, keep that hand in front of you here. Nice and long, head in line. Lovely, down to the toe. Great, relax the head, think chest to thigh here whilst we're in this stretch, keeping those hips nice and straight. Good, lovely. Then bending the opposite knee away, stretch away, pull away, keep that knee right over the toe so we're not bring, bending it in. Great, then into the centre, holding onto those ankles. We're gonna plie, and all one. Two, stretch and squeeze, head through the legs, and again, all one. Two, stretch and squeeze, and again, plie, one. Two, stretch and squeeze, unfold, lifting up, Six, seven, lovely. Other side, up and over we go. Nice and strong along. Keep breathing and extend and lengthen out of that side. Into a flat back, down we go. Lovely head in line. Let's just bring this arm up to second here. So we're holding it nice and strong. Lovely, down to the toe. Keeping those hips nice and straight. Chest to the thigh here again. Bending the opposite knee away. Lovely, good, nice work. Then we're gonna Go back into the centre, hold on to those ankles, and we go, plie, for two, squeeze and stretch, head through the legs, plie, keep those knees over the toes, and stretch, one more time, plie, for two, and stretch, unfolding, lift up, five, six, seven, eight, lovely, great. So we're just gonna move into a yoga stretch now. What's important here is that we really breathe when we stretch, so in through the nose, out through the mouth, really fill your lungs with every single move that you do. We'll go through it once nice and slowly, and then the aim is then to do the second time that little bit quicker. So, starting feet hip width apart, weight on the balls of the feet, lifting up out of those hips, hands by your sides, relax any tension in your neck as well. Then we're gonna deep, take a deep breath in, lift up. Then we're gonna breathe out and take the hands to the right, hips to the left. And then up to the sky, breathe in. And then out the other way. And then breathe in. And hands all the way to the ground. Then you're gonna take the feet back into a nice press up position, nice and strong. So head in line, shoulders over wrists, legs straight behind you. Then breathe out and lower down. Then we're gonna lift the chin as you breathe in. What's important here is that the hands are close to your hips, your shoulders are down, not up, nice and down. Chin is in the sky, mouth is closed. Then you tuck your toes underneath you, lift up into downward dog. So here, relax the head, make sure you're not holding any tension. Heels into the ground, deep breath in. As you breathe out, lower the heels even further and lift the hips. And again, deep breath in. Breathe out and push those heels further. Then take your right foot through the middle of your hands into a strong lunge. Check in with yourself here that your knee is over your heel. Hands on the ground, chin lifted, nice and strong. Then feet together and unfold up through the spine all the way back up to standing. Great, we'll do that one more time. A little bit quicker this time. So deep breath in. 
Breathing out, hands to the right. That's it, tipping those hips. And again, breathe in up. Other way, and squeeze, lovely. Now deep breath in up to the sky, hands to the ground. Feet back, breathe in. Nice and strong here, shoulders over wrists and lower down, breathe out. Lifting up, chin to the sky, look how shoulders are down, hands are right close to the hips, chin lifted. Then tuck the toes as you breathe out, up we go. Nice, lovely, good. Now relax the head, make sure there's no tension. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, lower those heels, lifting those hips. And again, deep breath in. And breathe out. Excellent. Then left foot through the middle, nice and strong. Check in with yourself, knee over heel, body upright, straightening the back knee, then feet together and unfold all the way through to finish off. Lovely, great. We'll take a lunge on the right hand side. Great, so whilst we're in this lunge, just making sure this knee is over this heel, not too far forward over the toes. So this is a perfect position. Straightening behind the knee here, really working on the back of that leg. Shoulders nice and strong. We're gonna take a deep breath in, lift those arms up. Perfect. Now lengthening from the fingers. As you breathe out, you're gonna lower those legs down. That's it. Hold it as low and as deep as you possibly can. Again, deep breath in. And then hands down to the ground as you breathe out, excellent. Then we're gonna unfold the back arm up towards the wall. Lovely, nice. So checking in here, nice and strong, shoulder in line with the knee, straightening the back knee still, excellent. Then swap that through to the other side. So the hand's going in front of the foot over here, and that's it, hand up in front of you here. So making sure still this knee is over the heel. Deep breath in, as you breathe out, extend that arm over the leg, and you're gonna stretch yourself all the way from your finger to your toe. And again, deep breath in. Breathe out and extend that stretch as long as you can bear to. Fantastic, then both elbows down onto the ground. That's it, still working with this back knee as straight as possible. Holding onto it there, good. Hold that for a couple of breaths, deep breath in. And out, <sighs> lovely. Then we'll go up into two straight legs. Great, so just making sure here that both hips are straight. Lovely, both feet facing forward, chest to the thigh, trying to fold your body together. Don't lead with your head, always lead with your chest. Lovely. Then from here, we're gonna move into ponche. So hands on the floor forwards, leg up into the sky, squeezing, straightening behind that knee. Try and walk those hands a couple of steps back towards your foot if you can possibly. Good, excellent. Again, chest to thigh. We're gonna squeeze the leg in for two. We squeeze it in for two. Stretch behind the knee, squeeze and stretch. And again, squeeze in for two, squeeze and stretch behind the knee. Lovely, two more times, squeeze and two. Stretch behind the back of the leg, trying to get it an inch further every time. Last time, lovely. And stretch behind the leg, lovely. Leg back down to lunge, excellent. From here, turn and face front. Whilst we're in this position, making sure you're trying to get your bum to the floor. This leg is nice and turned out, heel is on the ground, and just work for yourself a minute, this leg here, thinking of turning it out so that that heel is lifting to the ceiling rather than letting the leg fold forward. Great, hands off. Here we go, control. We're gonna take a squeeze over to the other side. Over we go, lovely. Excellent, hands back down to the floor. Same thing, give yourself a little stretch here. Let's just work on the turnout on this leg, trying to lift that heel all the way through to the ceiling. Excellent, and heel onto the floor on the other side. Great, onto the lunge on the left. Same stretch is all on the left now. So, straightening the back of the knee, knee in line with the heel here. Great, hands up into the air, deep breath in. Fingers nice and long, and then lower those legs down. Squeeze, that's it, hold it still, relax those shoulders. Good, nice. Then hands down to the ground, lovely. Unfold up to the back, keeping it nice and strong. Shoulder in line with the knee, straightening this leg still here, lovely. Hold on to that. Then swapping it through to the front, hand in front, arm up here, deep breath in here. Then breathe out and let's extend that stretch all the way from finger to toe. And again, deep breath in and extend and stretch and squeeze. Lovely, then both elbows down to the floor. Working still on this back knee, not letting it bend, keeping everything nice and strong. Good. And then up we go into two straight legs. So again, chest to thigh, head nice and relaxed, hips in line, keep breathing here, deep breath in. Answer to stretching, always breathe. 
and breathe out. Good, weight onto the front foot. Here you go, let's get that leg up into ponche. Excellent, so hands nice and close to the foot here. Squeezing the leg in for two, squeeze in for two. Squeeze and stretch behind the knee. And again, squeeze in for two. Squeeze and stretch behind the knee. One more time, squeeze in for two. And stretch, I lied, there's one more. Squeeze for two. And stretch behind that knee, lovely. Excellent work, back to lunge. Good, now tuck the right leg underneath you, tuck yourself in, just stretch out the back, stretch out the glute muscle, that's it. So whilst we're here, twisting the spine around, both shoulders here, keeping both bum cheeks on the floor, crossing that arm around, lovely. And whilst you're here, don't forget to breathe. That's it, and relax. Great, and then swap legs as well. Fab, just twisting that back round, so that's it. Both hips on the ground, shoulders twisted, nice and strong and straight, relaxing the neck, don't hold any tension there. Good, lovely. Excellent. Then let's swivel around to the side. Legs out to second for me. Lovely. We're just going to do a... Actually, do you mind doing this on the side for me, Molly? Thank you, lovely. So we're going to do a contract and release in second here. So head nice and upright, body completely straight. Can you just lean yourself further back so we can see what it would look like if it was wrong? So hands out to the side for me. If she was too far back, then you can't get yourself nice and in line. Too far forward? There we go, that's too far forward. We just want to be completely in line, perfect. Molly's gonna contract belly button to spine for here as she brings her knees and elbows in. She's gonna breathe out, breathing out, one. And then squeeze and release, two. Lovely, just relax for a tick, Molly. As she's doing that, just make sure that as you bring those legs in, that you're bringing them in and you're working the turn out each time you stretch those legs. And you're really contracting just this belly button section. We don't want to work from the back, you want to work from your center here. So here we go, let's do it. We're gonna do it four times. We're gonna go, breathe in and contract. Now work that turn out as you extend and release. Good, lovely, and again, belly button, work. Breathing out, stretch from the ceiling. Good, and again, breathe out. Two, and extend. Last one, and breathe out for two, and squeeze to stretch. Lovely, let's take a side stretch to the right whilst we're in this position, that's it. Nice stretch, just make sure whilst we're doing these stretches, constantly working on the turnout. Try not to let those legs flop forward on you. Lovely, let's do a reach forward. Nice big stretch, that's it, good. Always working from the base of the spine here. Just let your head be nice and relaxed. Try and walk those hands a couple of inches forward. Keep breathing, base of the spine. Hold this for a good 30 seconds. This is a good stretch to hold. And then we'll move over onto our left hand side. That's it, keeping both hips on the ground in this stretch. Lovely, keeping the turn up going in those legs. Excellent, and then bring yourself back up to standing. Good, squeeze those legs in. Lovely, let's do one last final stretch. So legs in front, actually one leg in front. You're gonna tuck it around behind you. So here, you're thinking of having this foot tucked underneath you and both hips on the ground. If you find this stretch particularly easy, take your leg out to a right angle here. That's it, and then you're gonna try and keep both hips on the ground. Now lift up out of the hips, and then reach and stretching forwards. That's it, good. Hold this stretch for a good 30 seconds. It's a really useful one for hip flexors and glutes. And then moving on to the other side. Now make sure the leg behind you is directly behind you, both hips on the ground. If you want to take that leg out to that right angle position, just make sure you can still get both hips on the ground. I definitely can't. So out of the hips and reaching forward. Hands in front of you, deep breaths as you're stretching here. And out. Lovely. And that's the end of your warm up.